Hi everybody, my name is Samantha Timmers and I'm a meteorologist here at NOAA's Aircraft Operations Center. And today I'm gonna to talk to you guys a little bit about dropsons, which is one of our most important parts of our missions during hurricane season. So we'll actually drop these out of the AVAT station, which is featured in another video. And as they're going through the storm system, they actually measure a lot of different things about the storm. So we actually have two different types of dropsons here at AOC. We have our original one here, and these are fairly large, but we also are transitioning to our newer mini sond featured here. And you can see them kind of side by side. The mini sond is actually a lot smaller and fairly lighter compared to our original drop sond, but it measures all of the same critical values, the pressure, the temperature, the humidity, and the wind speed, all of those really important variables that go into the models and help us tell exactly where the storm is going to go. So we'll drop anywhere between 20 to 40 of these during a given mission. And while we're flying at the same altitude for most of that time, deploying these drop sons give us a complete vertical view of what's going on inside the storm system. So after we finish dropping these out of the plane, these really just look like kind of pieces of cardboard or just like a really long paper towel tube. But inside, there's actually a lot of different sensors that will measure different things. So we'll have a sensor that measures pressure, for instance, inside the storm and that lets us know how kind of intense or how strong the hurricane might be getting. We'll measure other things such as precipitation or the rain rate. We'll measure things such as the humidity inside the storm, the wind speed, the temperature, and we'll actually send that to the National Hurricane Center where they will put it into their forecast models. And so that helps to tell you guys exactly where the storm is headed, how intense it's going to get, and exactly where the storm is going to land. So it's actually a very critical tool that helps us understand exactly what's going on inside the storm. This is Samantha Timmers. I'm a meteorologist here at NOAA's Aircraft Operations Center, and I want to thank you for taking a little bit of time to hear more about the drop zones.